All right, moving along. What am I supposed to do? Double this next lady, she opened for me also on Friday night and crushed it. Woo! Even though she's taking, oh, okay, never mind, she's worse than Jake. Uh, <laughs> oh, right, yeah. No expectations. Y'all are horrible on me. <laughs> I did not teach that part of class. <laughs> Guys, give a huge round of applause to the very, very funny L. Benson. Woo! So they sent us an email today saying we had to be PG for kids. And I was like, screw this, this is my one night I got a babysitter. So shout out to Brent with his baby back there. Yeah. <laughs> so all of the good parents are here with the babysitters at our home. So love that. Um, so my husband and I had a prenup that said we would not have kids. Like it's the, the night before we're getting married. I don't want kids. You don't want kids, so it's cool. About five years into our marriage, though, the bastard uh, changed his mind. <laughs> Damn it. They always think it's the women. It's not. It's you men wanting to lay your sperm. I'm not into it. So I think I missed sex ed in high school, and I ended up pregnant. All I know is I was really drunk. I don't know what really happened, but when you're pregnant, there's only two ways to be unpregnant. The word you're not allowed to say in the South Abortion. <laughs> or birth. Oh, so, I'm super competitive. I think I'm an athlete. My vagina's pretty competitive, too. <laughs> so, I'm looking into how I'm going to nail this birth. Okay, so, I believe everything on the internet. I am the most gullible person in the world. <laughs> Found this program called Hypnobirthing. It's a meditative hypnobirthing program where you meditate away the pain under hypnosis and it's self-induced hypnosis and so there's these videos of these women just calmly breathing and a 10 pound baby pops out and I'm like yes so I'm imagining like my Wednesday yoga class you know I've got essential oil someone braiding my hair Kenny G in the corner, not just music, like legit Kenny G in the, in the birth room, and it is gonna be awesome. So in order for this to be my game days, I have to listen to 30 minutes to an hour every day of positive birth affirmation. So in my car repetitively, my coworkers were in my car with me, um, it was, you can birth this child. Your body is made to do this. Tiffany and my husband believed <laughs> by the time it was my due date, that they could painlessly and confidently birth my child. <laughs> it worked! I go into labor and I'm like, bring it on. Yeah, I am screaming my birth affirmation so bad that the nurse down the hall said I'm scaring the other women. I'm like, I can do this! I am amazing! Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> so, in all the Googling of things on the internet, the number one cause of birth for pregnant women, no, cause of death. <laughs> the beer here is pretty good. So the number one cause of death for pregnant women is birth. Great, real excited. The number two cause of death for pregnant women is homicide. So a bunch of crazy people out there who get their kicks off of killing pregnant women. It's not even fair, pregnant women can't run, you lure them in easily with some waffles and a honey bun. <laughs> it's terrifying. I was walking around all the time being like, I'm just fat, I'm just fat, I'm not pregnant. I wouldn't tell anyone that I was pregnant, afraid someone was just going to kill me. But then I found what was really scary when I was pregnant is the old ladies at the grocery store. They see you from the ice cream aisle because you're usually in the ice cream aisle with the old ladies. You know, pregnant women and, and seniors like ice cream. And they just come at your belly like it's theirs and they own it. And I really don't understand it. So the whole time I was trying not to get arrested um, for assaulting a senior citizen while pregnant. It's kind of like going to the kennel though to play with the dogs and just like petting the crates and not actually touching the animals. You're not touching me. I'm not into it. But clearly I'm pretty honest and I have no shame. So I am proud of some of the lies that I've told my child. The first, I don't even intend for it to be a lie. It just comes out when she's doing something dumb, like licking ice cream off her shoe. I believe in positive. Thanks, Ray. I believe in positive parenting. Again, I read it on the internet. Some bullshit, so she doesn't end up a terrorist. But positive parenting, you only say nice things to your kids. So she's licking like 
ice cream off her shoe, and I'm like, you are so smart. <laughs> How is this the strong sperm? <laughs> Um, another thing I'm really proud of is I love to play hide and go seek with her. I've strategically put a cell phone charger and snacks in every closet in my house. Take that. Pretty smart. I also tell her that I can see her all the time. So I have put cameras in my front door, in my house, all over. And I just want her to think that I always know what she's doing. Basically that I'm psychic. I need her when she's 16 and in the backseat of a car about to make a bad decision like basically her mom, I need her to have a conscience. So I'm always saying like, I know what book you were reading in the other room. I know what you were doing. I don't know if it'll work, but it's all I got. Another lie that I tell her is that I want her to be happy and healthy. I mean, I do, I'm not terrible. But I also need her to be rich because I might have spent grandma's college fund on a trip to Vegas with, with the girls. Um, the tattoos are pretty awesome. So I'm gonna need her to do well. Um, mom shaming is totally a thing and I don't buy into it. It is, why, why do we do that? Um, I wrote a book for pregnant women on mindfulness. See, see how I bought into this, it's like in there. Um, I'm an expert on pregnancy now because I've been pregnant should buy my book. Um, and so I got my first haters on Instagram. I got these anonymous people on my Instagram saying terrible and mean things to me, and I was so excited. I've, I've arrived. I don't know these people. This is not my mom on Instagram. This is awesome. So the first one, they said that posting photo, photos of her is like digital kidnapping, and that you can't put these photos on the internet because then people will use them. <laughs> She is real cute. She needs to be on every billboard all over town. You use her photo. <laughs> My next mom shaming was, it'll impact her future. Posting a photo of her in her panties covered in spaghetti. She can still be president. <laughs> then I was told I don't have permission to use her photo. Fuck that, she's three. I didn't give her permission to give me stitches in my vagina. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave you with a little bit of information on how to engage with new moms when they come back into society. Cause y'all say some pretty weird things and inappropriate things. So I'm gonna help you out as my public service announcement. It's fine. Do not ask how they're sleeping. You don't give a shit how they're sleeping. You just want to enjoy all the sleep that you're getting. So unless you're willing to go over to mom's house at 4 a.m., see you, Rachel. I know you do that. Doesn't have a kid right here. Yeah, she's like, I slept 10 hours last night. Right. Uh, don't do it. Don't ask. It's me. But also, people say, soak in all the moments. Enjoy every second. Soak in what? The poop, the pee, the smell, the, what am I doing? No, that's weird. Um, don't ask about their birth. Oh wait, no one's ever asked about anyone's birth. I just have a microphone, so I decided to tell you about mine. <laughs> Another weird thing people like to do is ask, are you breastfeeding? It's like, it is none of your damn business. Clearly I'm very honest, so when people started you know, asking me, yeah, it, it didn't quite work for us. I had a lot of liquid gold, got pretty competitive with that. She had an allergy, couldn't use it. So my husband puts in his coffee. <laughs> you asked. So the other thing people do to women is they say, you look good for just having had a baby. No, I want to empower women. I'm a feminist. I want women to feel confident to own their bodies. I'm not even a lesbian. What I like to say to women after they've had a baby is I walk right up to them, look at them, and say, let's fuck in my car. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Happy night. Yeah. <laughs> guys, keep it going for El Benton. <laughs> All right. Your next comedian.